Hey, it's Pierre, and if you're just starting out in the UX design, today's video is perfect for you. Now we're diving into the essentials of wireframing, a crucial part of designing websites and apps. Wireframes are like the blueprint of your digital design, helping you structure your layout and organize your content before you even think about colors, fonts, or images. It's all about functionality and flow. Now, before we dive into Figma, let's quickly talk about the two types of wireframes, high fidelity and low fidelity. Low fidelity wireframes are simple, basic sketches or outlines. They focus on layout and structure, showing where key elements like buttons, images, and text will go. They're usually created quickly, so you won't worry about the fine details. Lo-fi wireframes are great for early stages of design, when you just need to test out concepts and flow. They're perfect for brainstorming and getting feedback fast. High-fidelity wireframes, on the other hand, are more detailed. They look a lot closer to the final product, with more precision, spacing, and sometimes even text and basic interactions. You'd use these later in the design process when you're refining your ideas and want to communicate exactly how the user interface will function. So when should you use each? Start with lo-fi wireframes to explore and iterate quickly. As you refine your design and work through the details, move into hi-fi wireframes to communicate your vision more clearly to stakeholders or your team. And if you're looking to get into UI UX design and need a clear roadmap to guide you, I've got you covered. Check out my free ebook. It's packed with actionable steps to help you break into the field of UI UX, no matter your starting point. So grab it for free in the description below. Now that you know the difference, let's jump into Figma and let's start creating a wireframes from scratch. We're in Figma and now we're going to talk about the two methods and workflows that you can consider when working with wireframes. We have this beautiful wireframe kit by LS Graphics and this is going to outline the first approach, which is going to be leveraging a wireframe kit which is going to enable us to essentially drag and drop elements and basically create a wireframe directly from a base. Now, this is going to be quite useful and you can find the free wireframe kits on Figma community that are going to enable you to create entire workflows in a short amount of time or as well as premium resources on websites like UI8 or LS Graphics in order to find some more premium and refined wireframes, which nonetheless, both approaches are going to be totally fine really depends on the needs for your specific project. So this would be the very first approach. However, another approach that you can tackle, and it's one which I use quite often, honestly, is simply creating the wireframes by hand. So over here, this is a project that I worked on years ago for a client, and I'm going to outline this approach by focusing on this screen right here. So for example, if I go ahead and uh, I create uh, a rectangle, I can uh, just very roughly, and again, wireframes do not need to be precise. We just need to get uh, the basic idea out there and that is going to be sufficient. So I'm going to create a frame by simply creating a rectangle and applying a stroke to it. And after that, uh, I can simply duplicate this uh, by using Command C and uh, Command V. And uh, I'm going to create uh, the idea that uh, I want to communicate here to the team or stakeholders. And that is that we're going to have some sort of a picture of uh, a person. So I'm going to go over here, just create uh, a stylistically, uh, oops, that is a little bit too small. And I just want to communicate uh, the base idea without focusing too much on the details. So even here, I can create uh, another rectangle in order to communicate that we're going to have some sort of uh, main headline, as well uh, as uh, some uh, subheadlines, which uh, usually I would go with uh, a lower opacity for these uh, in order to communicate that these aren't as important as uh, the main uh, text block right here. So this is going to help us uh, to create a visual hierarchy as we're creating uh, these uh, wireframes. 
So as you can see, it's a quite a straightforward process and I can go ahead and basically fill in the gaps. And this, of course, that we're building is a low-fi wireframes. However, if the project and the process needs something which is more towards a higher fidelity, we could, for example, add some text in order to understand better the context in which we're operating and uh, to further facilitate the communication with uh, stakeholders. I think that uh, one important concept uh, that is uh, when working with wireframes is to try and avoid uh, utilizing color except for maybe the call to action. So we could consider keeping uh, the basic color for the call to actions as uh, this is going to help us uh, identify where these call to actions are going to be within uh, the wireframe ecosystem and uh, that is going to definitely help us uh, guide the user and create uh, those uh, user flows uh, which uh, we saw just a moment ago. As I mentioned earlier, two great uh, resources which uh, I personally love for finding premium wireframes are UI8 which uh, you can find uh, all the wireframe section over here as well as LS Graphics which has some amazing mockups as well as wireframe kits. Now that being said you can also find plenty of free wireframes in the Figma community and you can also go with the second approach so wireframes definitely can be done entirely for free. Now that's pretty much it for this video and again and I want to remind you that if you're looking to get into UI UX design I have created an entire free ebook which you can find in the link in the description. Happy designing and I'll see you in the very next video.